everybody, this is the um, gamer here, and today we've got another retro truck. We've got an Aveco retro truck. Nineteen. One ninety thirty-eight special. Special. It's an Aveco. And what cargo are you hauling? Huge man modern trucks. Yeah, hauling the modern trucks with this uh, 1970s, 1980s truck. Yeah. Right, go and hook your trailer up. You do your facts. Right, How, he's not giving you a lot of room there, is he? No, he's barely giving me any room. Not giving me, he's parked that trailer in a very odd spot. What then? So, I don't have any interesting facts about this truck, like you know. Right, did. yes, so let me tell you something. First of all, let's tell me something about Veco because we haven't really done much. That's a nice retro interior, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Bit red though. I just want to know what that little chrome thing is. Oh, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, what is that? I wonder. Um. Yeah. So Veco. Um. They've been around since 1975. So quite a newish trucking company compared to a lot of them. Yeah. Um. They were amalgamated out of five other trucking companies of the day. Uh. And those. Um. Those trucking companies were included Fiat, uh, OM. Who are OM? Don't know. Lancia. Lancia. Yeah. Didn't know Lancia did trucks. It's the Lancia Vecholi Speciali. The um, Fiat and Lancia are both Italian. So. Yeah, and so is OM. And uh, Unic, which are French, and Magirus Dutz, which are. Deutz, yeah. German. German. Probably. Yeah, I think you're making a bit of a um, meal out of this, aren't you? Yeah. I don't know why you're trying to get in, come in light in that direction. No, you I, might get it this time. I can't reverse it from can't the you? other side. No, the trailer doesn't let you. Oh, right. I think you've got it on this occasion, though. Um, yeah, so uh, Iveco means Industrial Vehicle Corporation. Iveco. That's, That's what it means. Cool. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, so the actual one ninety thirty eight special, it. nice. Quite a tight. That's a bit of tight. Oops, cracky. Uh, anyway, mm. the one ninety thirty. So this mod um, is. I've got this mod from ETS two LT, and uh, I won't say. I won't credit it to anyone because I read the. Uh, when I read the comments, it sounds like there's a bit of a discussion about who actually made this mod. So. I would just say it's available uh, on ETS2.LT plus, I guess, other modding websites of your choice. If I was man, I'd be thinking, hey, why do we hire this dude to drive our brand new trucks in his no, old, his old um, clapped no, out um, 19038 special? Um, now, on the, I must say, on ETS2.LT, it describes it as the Vecco 198. 38 special. I think that's a typo because I don't think there is an Aveco 198 38 special. Um, so basically, the the name comes from the three, the first three numbers. The 190 is apparently the total mass. So I don't know if that's 19 tons. Uh, and the and the second part, the 38, is the engine power. So this is 38, 380 horsepower. Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's about the engine you get in this vehicle. Yeah, we'll have a look in a minute to see if that's accurate in the uh, when we go inside to the what do you call it? Yeah, these man trucks look huge. They're matte. It's, oh, why do man do that? What's that? They're matte. Where I've got to go inside to see what, where we're going. Right. Um, so the. Uh, these particular trucks, the originally referred to as the N series, they started producing these in 1976. They were also known as the NC and the NVN. They received a facelift. They were originally sold as Fiat trucks, and I think that the cab comes from the P series, which was much earlier from uh, or the predecessor to this cab. But they kept the same cab up to 1981, where they introduced a new cab. Uh, in 1980, sometime in the early 1980s, I think 1982, 1983, they introduced the turbo engine. I think, in fact, that Fiat, uh, sorry, Veco, were the first company to produce turbocharged engines for um, these heavy-duty trucks. Turbocharged? Yeah. Oh, gosh. And the, the um, trucks that had the turbocharged engine were known as Iveco Turbos. I know this thing is little, but I don't... 
This thing is really little. It's got a nice looking engine. I don't think this thing could handle a turbocharger. Well, it does have one because it says turbo on it. Yeah. So we know that this is we know that this is the uh, Iveco Turbo or sometimes referred to as the Iveco T series. Yeah. And they kept producing these up until 1984, where they started building the Turbo Star or the Turbo Tech, which is more what people are more familiar with. So this isn't the Turbo Star. For anyone that claims it is, I'm not sure what the special bit means. I think it's to do with the interior of the cab, the refinements inside the cab. Oh look, uh, it's a tram stop. It's um, so they, they they started producing the special in 1983, and it was became their biggest model, uh, and it incorporated every comfort that the driver could could expect at, at that sort of Let's have a look. at that time. So this was like the equivalent of the, this would have been the equivalent of the, uh, you know, the Volvo Globetrotter sort yeah. of brand. Although obviously the special didn't catch on quite as much as Look the. Look at them, uh, Look at them dials. I know it had air con, it had air con. Air conditioning. Yeah, it had uh, comf comfortable, super comfortable seats. Super comfortable. Yeah, it had CB radios and a folding table. It had a road map board. Have a look and see if you can see that. Has it got a road map board on it? And I, I could, don't know what the road map board the, is. It's a road map. I oh, know, no, but but another board to put the to put the map on. Maybe it's down there. Like yeah. The, the cup holders. And it's got it's got an Aveco. It says special um something. Oh, someone's put a little bra little plaque, a little metal plaque on there, but we can't really read it. But look, when we go inside the it camera, says see David if we can. Cowboy, Cowboy Lee. Yeah, I know, but it's he's the one. It says it on it, but it, he said he's written some comments saying he didn't do it. Anyway, um, it had uh, reading lamps, it had uh, comfortable beds. I'm about to go over the tram lines, I want to see how comfortable these seats are. Oh, comfy? How's your butt? They feel nice. <laughs> yeah. But they look real hard in the game. Look so it says on the look. page that it's independent, you acquire it from the Iveco dealer, it's got one chassis, one cabin, one engine, two cat. No, two. Um, His shop. No, it's got two. Nekrasov. Not a big tuning, support for setting the wheel, support for DLC flags, and accessories in the cockpit, and tested for version 1.26. No, it's got two, the cat is the transmissions. Oh, right, it's okay. Got 13 to 16 speeds. I don't know about the red colour, though. Inside? Yes. What side did it, what, how, what did it say it could be inside? Well, I don't know, but it's, that is very red, isn't it? Yeah. It's got red everywhere. <laughs> Look at that, I mean, the fabric, look how red the fabric is. It's horrible. It feels It'll like give you a headache. It feels like the Ottoman uh, maps in Battlefield, all red all over you. Red, 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 red. Turning. It says in, in 1980, Iveco built the first turbo diesel engine for heavy industrial vehicles. I think that Scania is the, the, the smallest cab for the Scania. It's like the size of the tallest cab for this thing. Yeah, probably. Uh, in this decade, the corporate strategy was heavily oriented towards brand promotion and led to the sponsorship of sports events such as the 1980 Olympic Games in Moscow, the Davis Cup in 1982, the Jacques Cousteau expedition in the Amazon basin in 1983, and the raid Pigafetta, during which the Iveco Fiat 75 PC 4x4 was first to make a full circle of the globe. Did they say a Fiat 4x4? A Fiat 4x4, yeah. My God. The Iveco Fiat 4x4. It hmm. went from making 4x4s to making these little taddy cars with barely any, with like 24 horsepower engines. Exactly. Right, so we have a look, see what's inside the. Um... Inside the cab? Yeah, let's have a look, see what's inside the cab. I mean, in, what you can customise on it. Yeah, let's go, let's go to the dealer. So then, they've got this here, and then you've got. This. <laughs> well, it looks like a grandpa. It would have been massive though in the day. We'd have been yeah. looking up at that when I was a young boy, thinking, "Whoa, look at that Iveco!" Actually, I probably wouldn't have been. I don't think you saw many of those on the on the roads when I was young. You put you see, it's, you it got was one all cab. Volvos and dafts. You see, but we've also got the thirty eight, not one ninety thirty eight. Yeah, there. so it's obviously a typo in the um. Lots of typos in the description in the yeah. ETS two dot LT. So, no cabs. Engine, yeah. 181. No, no. That's, 381. Yeah, that's good. So you only get the one engine. You get the you get the realistic engine. Three, 380 horsepower. That extra one horsepower. Yeah. Two transmissions. You got you 12 speeds with a, diff with a differential of 2.5. Um, 
64 and you got a different head and they got 60 speeds of different head shot of 3.45 no right cab. standard cab red 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 no special colors okay you get clear white olive green that's quite nice that red. red amber yellow that's one there mystery blue which one i i like black star or sapphire, graphite grey. I have to go red. Okay. You don't get anything really. You get you know. the Aveco, which you can get rid of. Okay. Which leaves the black splodge up top. Uh, there you go. Barrage, you got two points. You can add anything you want. I honestly. Probably um, just for beacons, aren't they? Yeah. It, they look a bit weird adding horns to them. Yes, not really a horn place. But the lights also... You can put lights on them. The lights also look a bit weird. You think? Yeah, so okay. I, I like to have beacons. You got down here, you get... Twister. You don't actually get a twister. You just get a little... some slots at the bottom. Or whatever you want. Wheels, same. Things, same. Inside. You get your sat nav, good. Yep, sat nav. L things to hang things up. You get your nodding dog. One nodding dog. One nodding dog. Hand you get your, oh, floating. Doesn't sit, yeah, it doesn't sit right, does he? Stick it on there. Oh, that looks a bit it's better. clipping through the other side. I've got. Oh, yeah, so is all that. clipping. Uh, up, up there. Dice. Little thing for hanging down. I've never seen the eight ball <clears> before. That's new. Well, I've seen the dice. Oh, but you look. can have double. You can have double. Uh, <coughs> why would anyone want that? Why does anyone ever want those things hanging up on top of a duck? They, they look they terrible. They feel good. There's your air conditioning, look, so we know that it's uh, yeah, there. the special. Yep, there it is. Got the old AC. There's also the wind. There's also the sun visor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty. Not very much to customise. No, but it's still a nice, a nice, as we said, nice retro uh, interior there. Now have a go inside and see if we can see what, reads, read what it reads on that. Um. I still can't read it. It says a vessel right there. It says a vessel, yeah. Daniel, Ka it, you can you can read it more clearly when you're outside of the dealer. Yeah. But inside, you're more further away. Than it it. Just get, oh, no, turn, turn your head again because it came a bit clearer when you when you turned your head a bit around this way. Oh, wrong way. Special, Special TIR series. TIR series type tractor model 190 38 engine 380 horsepower 168 mkg. This unit was specially built for Daniel okay, Cowboy. Okay, right. Okay, it's a nice little touch though. But as I say, there's a bit of a discussion about whether. Yeah. So we won't we won't get into that. You see that that, that little um. That little plate you've put in that there could protect you a bit from crashes because it's extra right. steel. Okay, there's the there's the parking brake down there. Oh yeah, I'm still wondering what that chrome thing. Yeah, is. if everyone knows, stick your comments in the comment yeah. section below and tell us what that what that sort of chromey metal thing looks like. A bit of a straw, but I'm about to say, is it like a breathing? It's weird, isn't it? What's it doing <laughs> in the middle there? Anyway, that's the um, thingy special. You're trying to click one to go on the outside, aren't you? Yeah, I'll click that one to go on the outside. No, 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 you, you, you can just do this here as well to make, get rid of that thing. Oh, yeah. Pop. All right. So what do we think of that mod? I think it's a very good mod. Yeah, I it's like nice. It a lot. Yeah. yeah, it is nice. Uh, there's one nodding dog just sitting there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy, he's missing, nice, his, he's missing his buddies. No, he's missing his guards. Oh, the yeah. The old dog with his guards. Oh, look, there's a fire extinguisher there. Oh yeah, that's nice. You didn't see that from outside, do you? From inside, oh. well, I, don't, I couldn't see anyway. It also, this had had these American style exhausts as well. You see. Yeah, big smokestacks. Look, even the chassis, the chassis were um, red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So remember to subscribe, like for more content, more videos, more retro trucks, more crazy. More retro trucks. Uh, remember Our to Twitter us if Twitter you want to is play young, some multiplayer. Is Young and uh, at at young underscore gamer one oh one. Yep. Um check out below in the thing for our Facebook page because we'll put notifications of when we're gonna do convoys on multiplayer oh, if I you want to join. That. Look Oh it's got wipers on there. 
Yeah. Red lights. Emma, we, we went to Steve Fest and we seen a Volvo of little wipers on its headlights because Scandinavia. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Right, so. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Also, look in the description for MAG channel. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye.